whenever you do inspection or when people are putting on harnesses, we put one big blue tarp here because a lot of stuff goes on, harnesses on and off, and inspecting ropes and stuff goes on here. We have another tarp below um, the belays for when the ropes go on potentially on the ground. Yeah, so, big tarp there. So since we are going in the high course today, we are going to do this as if we had a group and we're going to inspect all the gear that we're going to use. So these are the rescue bags. There's two rescue bags. People will want to walk this up here so go sit down back and forth. Um, this I actually set up the tarp in the middle one day and people were constantly walking back and forth across the tarp. So if we kind of shift it so there's like a little pathway through here. Ooh, that's good. Um, it'll help a lot. Because the more people that walk on this, the more dirt they get thrown around. So at some point, you might have to take the pull the gear off and kind of do a little flip and get the dirt off. Put that in the left rope. So, harness. Let's do harnesses later. Grab that. Line. Let's do these first and then we'll do the other stuff. You need something to deal out with them. Okay. Jason. So, let's, uh, Lance, do you want to show rope inspection? Sure. Okay. So go for it and say what each thing is. Okay. Yeah, Jason. Um, okay, this is probably one of the most important things that we're going to do as facilitators is inspect the rope. Before each use and after each use, um, the ropes need to be inspected. Uh, a visual and tactile um, inspection of all, all the ropes. Um, in, in the crates, um, in the black rope here is our, our embolay rope. In the other crate, the orange rope is our belay rope for going up into the course. And, um, then we also have uh, ropes for the trees to make our belay stations with. Um, this is the rescue belay station rope and stuff for it. Then we have our two rescue bags. <clears throat> so it seems like it's a lot of rope, but each if each person takes a rope and sits down and starts inspecting it, it'll go rather quick. The hardest ones to inspect are probably like the ones that you have to put back into the bag because you'll pull it out of the bag and then you'll put it back into the bag. The belay station rope, usually I'll inspect it as I'm putting it up. That makes it a little bit easier. The embolay is a lot longer rope, so you'll actually have to sit down on a tarp and uh, physically inspect it when you have a nice big tarp. Easiest way to inspect your rope by visual and by touch is just get yourself a nice clean spot. What you're looking for in the rope is any frays or damage to the outer, the outer sheath, any bumps or elongations or just things that are different about the rope that doesn't look normal. And how you do that is basically just pass it through your hands and as you're doing it just kind of watch. So it seems like it's gonna like take forever but once you get used to doing it you can pretty much do it all by touch. But you want to make sure that the rope is clean. That's why we keep all of our ropes out of the dirt. If they're really really dirty we need to take and wash them. And um, we, could, do we have a hose washer, a uh, rope washer Dave? Dave Bird. Mm -hmm. I called you Dave. Jason, do we have a rope, a rope washer? Or are we just putting them in the wash machine. Wash machine. Wash machine. So, um, and and I imagine Dave or uh, Jason will do that type of a thing, or they'll assign somebody to do it. So you're just sitting here, kind of looking at the rope. I kind of watch in the basket, and then just use my hands. And as I'm kind of looking, and I'm kind of really relying on my hands to pick up um, irregularities in the rope. And as you, as it passes through one of your hands, you'll feel a bump in it, or you'll feel a uh, fray in the rope. Um, when you bend a rope over like this and you do it really sharp, so if I was to take this and crimp down hard on it, we'll actually start some splintering in the top portion of the rope. So that's why when you tie your knots, it's really important to um, tie your knots properly that you're not bending the forces over really hard on the rope. Same way if you're stepping on them and you're on something hard or sharp, stepping down those forces in that spot will start to splinter out the rope. So you just sit here and away you go. Watching the rope, looking for dirt, looking for frays. Is everybody pretty much understanding what I'm, what, what I'm looking for? Mm -hmm. um, it's a tedious process, but it has to be done. 
So what we'll do is, um, so everybody gets a chance, is we'll get people in teams. We're just going to lay this out here. Is there another tarp we can get out? Yeah, it's behind right behind you. you. Okay, let's lay that other tarp out. Um, let's put two people on the, find the other end of the belay rope, the black belay rope. So here's one end. We'll have two people work on this one. There it is. So just sort of sit. We'll get one person there. And we'll move this one out here. Get, pull that one out. We'll get people, two people working on that one. Um, we'll get a couple people just physically kind of looking at some of the other stuff for that. Um, then we got two people we can get on the rescue bags. So 